All right, this is January 2018, construction question. Using a ruler, a pencil and a pair of compasses. Ruler, pencil, compass, no protractor. Use your protractor as a guide, but don't let them know. Don't do anything in the diagram that will show that you use your protractor and you didn't construct it. Construct triangle, PQR, which PQ is 8 cm, PQR is 120 and QR is 50, is 5. All right, so the first thing you do in all these questions is draw a sketch. So when I hit them as sketch first, just to see how the diagram is, make sure you plan out your space properly. PQ is 8, so PQ is 8, PQ, we have about 8 there. Um, PQR is 120, so R, 120, R somewhere up here. QR is 5, 5. Oh, so this is R, so this is 5. Is a sketch. Alright, so this is 5, this is 8, this is 120. What you need to do now is check the rest of the question to make sure there's no miss. Like, sometimes they may want you to go on top or below, or do something to the diagram. You need to know how to plan out your space. Otherwise, you could end up drawing your question into the next question and after you erase off the whole question and start to do end up in a nightmare situation. So, let's see what's next. Part 2, measure and see the length of PR. So, you have to take a ruler and measure that. Part 3, on your diagram, construct the point S such that PQRS forms a parallelogram. PQRS, yes, so S coming up here for real. And you have a parallelogram. So on that is it. End of the question. Seven marks. Wait, Israel marks are pretty simple construction question. Boy, January, this was like a one easy question. All right, so PQRS. Mm -hmm. Sketch finish. Time to put on the real thing. All right, let's go. First thing you need to do is draw a baseline. All right, that baseline looking good there. Next up, you need to select a point. We'll call that P. Once again, if you hear any child screaming, that's my son in the background. He's okay. Don't call CPS. All right, so um, next up, this needs to go to 8. Now, you can take a ruler, measure 8 here, and go 8 there, and make a little small little dot just to make sure you know that you come out as 8. But what the examiners will be looking for... My friend, where is my compass? What the examiners will be looking for is an arc on the 8. So after you make your dot where the 8 should be, you could come and make your arc on it. What we are really supposed to do is come at the 0 point here, where 0 is on the ruler, scroll this all the way up to 8, and then come and make a point here. And that is going to represent point Q. According to our sketch, next up, darken that with your dark pencil or however it is you're darkening it. So that's PQ. All we need now is QR going up 5 centimeters. So what we're going to need is our 120 going this way. Now there are two ways to construct 120. You can either construct a 60 coming from this side. Can you see it? Or you can actually construct the 120 by making a, six, a, a 60 and then a next 60 there. Whatever floats your boot. I feel I will just construct the 60 on one side, yes? Because, you know, 60 and 120 makes 180. So that's going to be my first arc. Then I'm going to come here, put down our next arc on them. Boom. And that's it. Now I come with my light pencil. The red here represents a light pencil or your construction lines. And I do like that. And next I want 5 centimeters. We're going good, we're going good. Measure 5 centimeters. Make an arc where 5 centimeters should be. Verify that I didn't do stupidness. Come with your dark pencil. And wet them that darkness day, man. PQR. Good to go. You done collect real marks to that performance there already. Alright, so it's a triangle, so we need to connect P and R. No biggie. Let me connect P and R. P and R connected. Now it's important that you put in your dimension, so I might as well write 8cm here. I might as well write 5cm here. Beautiful. Oh, okay, so now the access to measure and see the length of PR. Time for the ruler to shine. PR looks like 11.5, man. 
11.5. So I'll write PR is equal to 11.5 centimeters. So that's part two. Next up on your diagram, construct the point S such that PQRS forms a parallelogram. Well, that's simple. If we need to construct a point S that it forms a parallelogram, parallelogram have two equal sides, two parallel sides. Two equal sides, two pairs of equal and parallel sides. Yeah. So what we need to do here is come from P to Q, get back that length, which was 8. And we need to come from R and make a nice little arc here. So anything along this arc is 8 centimeters to R. So next up, you'll line up your compass with Q to R. Make sure you get that Q to R there. Or you could just use a ruler to measure Q to R 5 centimeters. Because you, you know you need to go 5 centimeters from P to S. And that's your new point S there. S. Just make it a little measure. Just to make sure you know you didn't do some stupidness somehow. Yeah, that looks like about 5. And here, that looks about 8. So, PQRS on the diagram, contract point S such that PQRS forms a parallelogram. So, technically, this should get the map because they just said to construct a point S such that it forms a parallelogram. But let's not be technical with the examiners. Let's go and construct this parallelogram and call that George. Just like that, seven marks. Hold up, I forgot to label the angle. This should be 120 degrees. I knew I was forgetting something. Alright, so that's seven marks.